Uh oh. Detective Harville, uh, can you see the screen clearly? Yes, sir, I can. Yes, sir, I can. Okay. And do you recognize this to be video from the NICE system that we've uh, seen other video from today? It is. Okay. And which camera is this? How, how would you identify this camera, please? It's the uh, South Drive camera. Uh, it's, uh, it's the camera we have around NICE system that looks towards the village of Vanderbilt. Okay, and the village, villages of Vanderbilt is where Miss Lackey resided back in June of 2013, is that right? That's correct. Okay, and the time stamp on this is 2 a.m. and 38 seconds? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Lena, can we roll to... Can we speed it up? Yeah, if you can, please. Two oh three. Let me just ask you, Detective Harville, um, this road here is this an exit? That's an exit from the villages of Vanderbilt Apartments, is it not? Yes, it's entry exit to the apartment complex. Yes. Okay, and then there's also an entrance up in this right-hand corner. Sorry. Uh, there's an entrance up in this area also? Yes, sir, it is. vehicle approaching with headlights in the top right hand corner there did you see that there was one yes all right stop it there all right and do you see two individuals walking you can play that you see the two individuals walking here i see two persons yes okay and you agree that one of them has a As a white, we can pull back it up. We can go. Uh, one of them has a white T-shirt on. It appears. Can I move closer? Because I really yeah, can't. Yeah. Okay. Speak up a little bit louder since you're away from the microphone. Uh, and one individual has on a white t-shirt and the other individual has on a black outfit. I couldn't determine what the other individual had on. It was something, it was something like the dark color, like the other girl, what the person had on from this video. Okay. And the time there is what? Two or three, four. You still can't hear it? I can't hear what time you said it was. 203.44, I'm sorry. 203.44, I believe you said it. And the vehicle does not exit into the texting. Can you identify that to be a taxi? I believe, yes, it was a, uh, a taxi that was leaving. And I'm going to ask Miss Derrick to fast forward to around two minutes and 26 seconds. Detective Harville, we saw the black 
vehicle that you identified as Ms. Lackey's vehicle. Do you recall that? Yes, parked in front of Gillette, yes. Yes, and that's a uh, Mercedes, black Mercedes, is it not? I believe so, yes it was. Okay. Uh, you can, if you can sk skip forward. And the two people that were walking, that we saw walking, the one in the white t-shirt and the one in, you, you identified as a darker outfit, uh, would you agree that that was Brandon Vandenberg and Elizabeth Lackey walking up the uh, walk area to her apartment? No. Okay. And is that because you just can't see the faces of the individuals? I have no idea who, are, who those okay. individuals are. So it's possible it could be, you, you just don't know for sure. You can't I, say so. I, I do sure. not know who those individuals are. Okay. All right. Tell me if you can identify what color this vehicle is that pulls out. It, it appears to be a, a, a dark color. Uh, looks like a black to me, a black color vehicle. Okay. And that's at 226 in the morning, correct? Almost 2.27? Yes, sir. Okay. How far are the villages of Vanderbilt from Gillette? The villages of Vanderbilt is probably a half mile at, at best from, from Gillette. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll re remember 2.26.53, almost 2.27 in the morning. All right. And then here we go at the, if you can stop it. That we see in the left hand corner remains consistent, doesn't matter what camera, correct? Usually it does. There might have been some abnormalities through, through the system, but usually it, it, the system's time frame is, is pretty correct. Give or take a few seconds. Okay. But it wouldn't be anything more than a second, a mm, few seconds. Uh, not, not to my knowledge, no. Okay. So it was. Uh, when we left the camera, nice camera that was pointing towards the villages of Vanderbilt, it was 2.26 and 57 seconds, I believe. And so, if you can let this one, this video roll, please. To be Ms. Lackey's vehicle. Correct. And you identified for us Van, Van den Brand. Brandon Vandenberg as the driver. Yes, sir. And we know that Ms. Lackey is a passenger in the vehicle, correct? She is inside a vehicle, yes. Okay. Now, on the other side of the vehicle, uh, I believe this is a circle, is it not? Yes, sir, it is a circle. Okay. And on the other side of the circle is a Vanderbilt police car, is it not? That is correct. And you know who the officer was in that vehicle? Yes. And it was it Officer Hall? Yes, it was. Okay. And I believe, is there a second vehicle there also? We, it's just out of view? I believe there's a second vehicle, if you look at uh, uh, the victim's vehicle, in front of hers a little ways over to the right, I believe. Okay, and whose vehicle is that? I have no idea. Okay. Vanderbilt Police vehicle, the vehicle, but I believe the SUV comes later on. Okay. And to the right there, um, that's Mr. Vandenberg. You you identified him. Yes, sir. Previously, and he's talking to Mr. McKenzie, right? Yes, sir. And he takes Mr. McKenzie by the arm. Does he not? He does. All right. Stop it there, if you would, um, and back it up. Uh, the individual that comes into the screen on the right hand side. Do you know? Do you know who that was that stopped and looked at, in the vehicle? I do not. Okay, keep rolling. All right, stop it there. Okay, can you back it up? Okay, there's a second individual that walks over to the car and looks in. Did you identify that individual? No, sir. Uh, passed out in the vehicle, don't we? Yes. Okay. There's not audio available on the nice system, right? Not on these, no.
this point, everyone's looking inside the car, right? That is correct. And I believe you previously identified Mr. Beatty and Ms. Royster walking there? Yes, sir. Back it up. Now the the young lady to the left that walks in, uh, were were you ever able to identify who that was? No, sir. Okay. Okay. That is Mr. Banks inside the, the door jam looking at Miss Lackey, is it not? That's correct. Okay. Now, another car drives up there. We don't know who that was, do we? We do not know, sir. And the two individuals here, do we know who they were? No, I never ID'd them, sir. And the Vanderbilt police car continues to remain parked on the other side of the circle, does it not? Yes, it does. And I believe we, uh, we said Mr. Vandenberg is carrying Miss Lackey into the Gillette dorm at that point. Yes, sir. All right, stop it right there. All right, now. If you'll pay attention to Mr. McKenzie when he walks in, uh, I'll let you watch it and tell, tell me if you agree with me that he's smiling. Yes, I do agree with you. And laughing. Yes. Okay. All right. If you can back it up there. If we can try that one more time. Okay. If you can stop there, uh, Mr. Vandenberg appears to be laughing. Does he not? Yes, he does. Okay. And uh, all right. And then, if you'll uh, let me ask you, there's a room on the right behind the young man on the far right. Is there not? Yes, there is. Okay. Let me just point, if I may. Uh, it would be. This room here. There's a room there, is there not? Yes, sir, there is. And that's where the resident assistant, uh, that's the resident assistant office, is it not? Yes, sir. Okay, sometimes referred to as an RA. Yes, sir. And the light is on, is it not? Yes, it is. Okay, and there is a video camera inside the RA office, correct? Yes. But we don't have any video from the RA office, do we? I did not pull that video. I viewed it, but I did not pull the video now. Okay. And the resident office is staffed 24 hours a day, correct? I don't know the exact staffing. I know that that, that office is for the RA, but I don't know the exact staffing or the time frame that they staff that a particular building. Okay. All right. If, if we can play. And I believe you'll agree with me that Mr. Beatty. It appears to me that all of them were smiling, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Now, if we can go to the next video, please. All right. Mr. McKenzie continues to smile and laugh, does he not? Yes, sir. I agree with that. Mr. Banks is smiling and laughing, is he not? Yes, sir. Okay. We can agree that they continue to laugh, or at least Mr. McKenzie continues to laugh, does he not? Yes, sir. And it appears to you that Mr. Beatty and Mr. McKenzie are hugging and laughing. Yeah, I call it horseplay in my opinion, yes, sir. I think that's an even better term, horseplay. Okay.
believe this is the camera from just inside the elevator outside the hall we just were viewing. Yes, sir. As part of your investigation, did anyone uh, report there was a passed out female um, in the Gillette dorm at 2.30 in the morning to the Vanderbilt police? You mean besides the person that was reviewing the video? Correct. And, and the answer is no, nobody contacted it, Vanderbilt police. And, and I mean in real time. Mm. Uh, no one contacted the police? No, sir. And to your knowledge, no one contacted the RA, correct? That's correct. No, no, my contact the RA. Okay. Can we back up, please? I'm sorry. Okay. We can go from there. And I believe this is Mr. Banks and Mr. Vandenberg riding from the first floor to the second floor of Gillette. Yes, sir. And I believe there's the white piece of paper you identified earlier for Miss Norman laying on the floor there. Yes, sir. And I believe there's a bathroom that you, we think Mr. Vandenberg went into. At yes, that point. right outside that hall uh, to, the, to, your, to your left, but it goes into the right is a bathroom. And Mr. Vandenberg reappears, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And based on your investigation, you determined that Mr. Vandenberg really didn't know Mr. Banks, Mr. McKenzie, or Mr. Beatty, right? To, the, to the, my investigation, they did not. Uh, they, they wasn't friends, but they was on this. I think I believe they was on the same football team, but they was not friends. And Mr. Vandenberg, I believe, do you recall played the position of tight end? I believe you're right, yes, sir. And, and do you recall that he's about, or at that time, about 6'5", 250 pounds or so? Does he, that was, he was a very large person, yes. Okay. Okay, if we can stop it right there. And this this is the this is the second floor of Gillette East Corridor, am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and the time there is at 2.34, 38 a.m.? Yes, sir. Okay, and so this picture or this video camera uh, is aimed towards the two elevators, is that right? Yes, sir, it is. And so we will see Mr. Vandenberg and Mr. <coughs> Uh, Banks step off, step out of the elevator, and Mr. Vandenberg is pulling Miss Lackey. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, and Mr. Vandenberg appears to be laughing there. Does it not? Does he not? I agree with that, yes, sir. And he reaches into his left pocket, if you can back it up, and pulls out a cell phone, does he not? In my opinion, it is a cell phone, yes. Can you run it backwards? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we can agree he pulls out his cell phone here, correct? Yes, sir.
And I believe we can also agree that it, it appears Mr. Vandenberg begins recording, <coughs> stop it there, begins to point his phone towards Ms. Lackey. Yes. Whether he's recording or taking pictures, we don't know, but it appears that he could be, correct? I agree. All right. And now, did you see Mr. Mr. Banks moved uh, behind the wall? He did. Okay. And does it appear that he's trying to stay out of the vision of the cell phone of Mr. Vandenberg? By watching this video, I would assume that, yes. Okay. If you can play that. Now, do you see Mr. Banks <coughs> pulling out his cell phone there? Yes. Okay. And does it appear that he's taking pictures? It does to me, yes. Okay. And does it appear that Mr. Vandenberg is taking a picture of the uh, crotch area of Ms. Lack? Yes. You can back it up again. And does it also appear to you that Mr. Banks gets in on the action and takes a picture of Ms. Lackey's posterior side? Yes. And, it, and Mr. Banks spends quite a bit of time taking pictures, does he not? He does. Your testimony earlier was that Mr. Vandenberg picks up Miss Lackey or both excuse me both gentlemen pick up Miss Lackey yes that's that's what I testified earlier yes sir and Mr. Vandenberg is still laughing it appears to me yes sir all right and Mr. Mr. Beatty uh, and Mr. McKenzie exit the elevator and follow Mr. Vandenberg. Yes, sir. And that ended at 2.34 a.m., did it not? Yes, sir, it did. Now, this video camera is just on the other, on the other side of the, the hall, or excuse me, on the other side of the door that they were walking into in the previous video? That's correct. Okay. <coughs> and Mr. Banks and Mr. Vandenberg are carrying Miss Lackey at this point? Yes, sir. Mr. McK Mr. McKenzie there appears to just keep eating, does he not? That's correct. And they exit that particular corridor and go into a lo lobby ar area? Yes, sir. This, this is, is a camera on the other side of the lobby, is it not? Yes, sir. Can we go back? Yeah, All right, stop it here. And I believe there's uh, Mr. Banks and Mr. Vandenberg are carrying Ms. Lackey. Yes. And just beside Mr. Vandenberg at this point, we'll see a lady come outside of that uh, dorm room, do we not? Yes, we do. Okay. 
All right, stop it. And do we know who that, who this lady is talking to Mr. McKenzie? Yes. And what is her name? Mercedes Houston, I believe. I got it right. Okay. She continues to speak, it appears, to Mr. McKenzie? Yes. And he turns around again. And she turns around and looks at him so we can assume that perhaps they're still speaking. I agree with that, yes. Okay. Is it the beginning? Yes, it is. Okay. Do you okay. Want me to put it there? I'm so, no, uh, leave it right there. Okay. The, uh, this is the beginning of the video, 237.28. And that is Miss Houston standing in the hallway when the boys come in with Miss, uh, excuse me, when Mr. Vandenberg and Mr. Banks come in with Miss Lackey, right? That's correct. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure it played. Can we play it one more time? And it appears she goes in the room to get out of their way. Is that right? I would assume that, yes. Do we know if Ms. Houston Mercedes Houston, she, she didn't call the police, did she? No. She didn't uh, notify an, an RA or anyone on campus that there might be a situation here, did she? She did not, no. Okay. Yes. Now, you can stop it. Now, this this is the camera. Uh, in in the last video, uh, everybody was walking towards the camera, correct? Yes, sir. And there's a door there, is yes. there not? Yes, there is. Okay, and this camera is on the other side of that door. Yes. Okay. So the boys are still going in the same direction. Yes, sir. They're coming into the same direction. <coughs> yes. Okay. And I believe. You previously identified the door we see straight ahead to be Mr. Jake Bernstein's room? Yes, the door straight ahead to your left a little bit is room 214. Jake Bernstein was assigned there. Yes. individual that walked out there, were we able to identify that person? I did not, I, I did not ID him, no sir. Okay. Right. Now, stop it. That, it's 3.05 a.m., correct? Yes, sir. And Mr. McKenzie came out, uh, came out, of, uh, I guess, from around the corner where Mr. Vandenberg's room is? Yes. Okay. And it appears he's laughing, does it not? Well, at that point, it appears he was running, and, and yes, he does start to laugh. Yeah, keep going. All right. Mr. Banks comes out, he's got his shirt off, and he's smiling himself, is he not? Yes. Yeah. Banks? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Mr. Banks. Uh, Mr. McKenzie comes out, he's, he's smiling, is he not? Yes. And Mr. Banks comes out, and he's smiling, correct? I agree with that, yes. And when he went in the room, he had his shirt on, did he not? He did. And when he exited at 3.05, he has no shirt and he has a smile, but he's wearing a smile, right? He has no shirt and he is smiling, yes. Okay. Now, Mr. Vandenberg. Uh, okay. 
All right. Now, stop it there. Let me ask you, the, the exit for Mr. McKenzie and for Mr. Banks is, is not going back towards Mr. Going, but Mr. McKenzie came back, didn't he? He did. Okay, he backed that up. Okay, stop it. So Mr. Banks and Mr. McKenzie were, were heading towards the exit, correct? Yeah, he was, they were leaving that area, yes. Okay, and there's a the stairwell they eventually exit is on the left just outside of the door they're walking through. That's correct. But Mr. McKenzie returns, does he not? He does. And he follows Mr. Vandenberg. He does. And Mr. Banks returns, does he not? Yes, sir. And he follows Mr. McKenzie and Mr. Vandenberg. Yes, he does. I believe they went in about 306. <coughs> Then Mr. Vandenberg comes out roughly 20 something seconds later. Does he not? Yes, sir. It's at the end of that one. Oh, sorry. That was Mr. Beatty. I believe you identified him earlier. Yes, sir. All right, stop it. Okay. Who is that? That's Mr. Vandenberg. And Mr. Vandenberg has a towel over his head, does he not? He does. And Mr. Vandenberg was the same individual that had his right arm, right arm hidden behind his back when he went into the bathroom in the last video? Yes. Continue, please. All right. And I believe your testimony earlier was it was Mr. Vandenberg who took the towel and concealed the camera from showing any further video. Yes, he put the towel over the video surveillance camera, yes. Okay. And can you play that one more time? Mm -hmm. I, I want to ask you if if it's Mr. McKenzie that pops out from behind the, the wall, can you see in front of 214? Yes, is that, that, that was is Mr. Mr. McKenzie. McKenzie. And then he's, he comes out and then he returns to conceal himself, does he not? He turns back in that corridor, yes. and Mr. Banks, is it not? That's the exit off that floor, yes. Okay. And the video camera that had that Mr. Vandenberg placed a towel on, that's on the other side of, of, of this camera, is it not? It's on the other side of the door, yes, sir. There's, because there's a door there. All right, if we can back up and start over. <coughs> so, it, so at 310, Mr. McKenzie and Mr. Banks exit yes and if you could back it up again and tell me if you agree that mr banks and mr mckenzie have a smile on their face i can't see mr uh, banks's face but it does appear miss mckenzie had a smile on his face when he uh, opened the door okay all right is at the end of that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the next one, Mr. Beatty walking down the hall? Did I skip one? I think I think the next one was Mr. Beatty walking down that same hall. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Uh, now this is the uh, 
elevator one in Gillette, is it not? Yes, it is. And I believe this is Mr. Uh, Beatty, is it not? Yes, it is. All right. All right, if you can back it up. All right, and Mr. Beatty takes a step forward and then takes a step backwards, does he not? Yes, he does. And then you would agree with me that the elevator closes on him? Yes. And hits him? Yes, it does. Okay. Now, I believe you testified to go up, you have to scan a card, is that right? Yes, you have to scan your go card. Okay. And is that what he did? Yes. Would you agree this is the Gillette sixth floor uh, stairs east camera? Yes, sir, it is. And that's Mr. Uh, Beatty, is it not? Yes, sir. And I believe he's standing in front of Mr. Banks and Mr. McKenzie's room? Yes, sir. And he steps back, does he not? Yes, he does. Okay. And I believe he goes into Mr. Banks and Mr. McKenzie's room. Yes, he does. in his underwear. The person on the right is Mr. Mac Prelu. And Mr. Mac Prelu is the roommate of Brandon Vandenberg, is he not? That's correct. So Mr. Prelu came to the sixth floor at 327 in the morning? Yes, sir. I may consult with co-counsel, Your Honor, I may be finished. All right. Turn it around. The 
those don't turn on. Your Honor, I believe that's all the questions I have. All right, redirect. Just briefly, Your Honor. All right. During the course of your investigation and reviewing the information related to this case, did you at any time look into whether or not there was an RA in the RA office? Yes. And what was the result of your investigation? There was not an RA at the time frame when I came in. And how do you know that? I reviewed a video. Thank you. I don't have any other questions. All right. Any recross? No, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Lieutenant Harville. You're excused.